Buhari's government facing unprecedented challenge, Osibanjo. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo on Thursday declared that President Muhammad Buhari's administration was being faced with a challenge that no government in the history of Nigeria had confronted. Osibanjo, who was recently appointed by Buhari as chairman of Economic Sustainability Committee, said this while explaining what the new team planned to achieve. We must communicate to our people where we are now and that we can no longer assume we are still where we used to be. We are faced with a challenge that no government in the history of Nigeria has ever faced. So, we have to redesign our economic planning and change our thinking, he said at the inaugural meeting. The team was formed to design and respond to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the crashing of oil prices in the global market. In the last several weeks, oil prices, a critical driver of the Nigerian economy, have crashed from the budget benchmark of $57 per barrel to less than $20 per barrel amidst the other worsening implication of the pandemic with forecasts of impending recession on a global scale. Osibanjo noted that what Mr. President has asked us to do is to devise a strategy in order to be able to keep the economy going and also make provision to ensure that we are able to retain jobs and indeed create more. We also need to develop the Nigerian economy in a way that we will even take advantage of the challenges of these times and convert those challenges to opportunities, Professor Usibanjo added. Speaking on the focus of the committee and what would be done to salvage the situation in the country, the vice president said, what we will need to do is something that is bold radical and one that our prop people can understand and buy into. We must design a broad vision that takes into account how to implement a big plan, inclusive of a focus on mass local productivity and mass employment. The big plan of government is to find a way for us to be able to do mass housing increase agricultural production, ensure massive local productivity by among several others, other options, increasing support to SME, and majorly improve avenues to, more, to put more cash in the hand of our people and also make them productive, the vice president noted. Committee members present at the meeting were the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Hajia Zainab Ahmed, Industry, Trade and Investment, Otumba Nii Adib Bayo, Labor and Empowerment, Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, Hajia Sadia Farouk, Others are ministers of state for petroleum resources, Mr. Timmy Press Silva, the group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Mr. Mele Kiari, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefiele, and the permanent secretary, cabinet office in the office of the secretary of the, of the government of the Federation, Mr. Babantude Lawal who is the secretary of the committee. So my people, that's the news reaching us today. Um, Osibanjo was recently appointed by Buhari as the chairman of Economic Sustainability um, Committee, and uh, which um, this committee is set to design and respond to COVID-19 and also the crashing price of oil, of the oil market. You know, um, it's been forecasted that um, um, there's going to be like a global recession 
um, due to the fall of oil price and also the, um, the, the, this COVID-19 pandemic that has um, engulfed the whole world. You see, so um, all countries of the world are making preparations to see that they are able to sustain their economy. And which is a good thing that um, Buhari has done as well. Um, appointing a knowledgeable man like um, the vice president, Yemi Osibanjo, um, on this sort of task, you know, as the chairman of the economic sustainability. So we want to see that our economy is sustained as well. And um, what's the main aim? How can they do this to make sure that jobs are retained and also to create new jobs? You know, but the thing is, the thing that Nigeria Nigerians always ask, Ask is that you know what are the what are the practical steps to to ensure that these things that has been said um, are come to a reality? You see, like um, when we when we listen to the news, we heard um, um, Osibanjo just saying he wants to improve. Um, he wants to have a mass housing uh, production, incre increasing um, increasing support for um, small and medium scale businesses, increasing um, agricultural production, ensuring local productivity improve avenues to put more money more cash in the hands of our people but the question is how does how are these things going to come to to materialization you know um, we've always seen the government promise a whole lot of things um year in year out but at the, at the end of the day to be honest to be honest nigerians do, don't see anything you know so um we're tired of hearing that um we want to increase this we want to improve this we want to improve that what we want to see is the reality of those things happening you know um i believe that um with such task with um the yemi osibanjo um these things should be able to come to a reality but the truth is we still need to know what are the strategies that are put in place what are the practical steps that are put in place for example if you say you want to support smes what are what, how, what are the strategies you're using? Um, okay, are we saying businesses from that ranges from this range to that range are going to have this sort of support as in physical cash or money or however they want to support them? We need to start knowing all these things. We need to start. We you, you know you don't just promise, but you need to tell us how those promises are going to come to a, a fruition. For example, in the United Kingdom. If the prime minister said we are going to improve this, the, the, the people of the country must ask how, where is the money is going to come from? Then they are going to tell you that, okay, there will be a court. There will be a court in maybe the NHS or there will be a court in this or there will be a court in that. So they can take more money from here and put there. So those are the kind of practical things that we need in Nigeria. We need to start asking the government how is this going to happen? Not about promises. We have passed the level where the government just comes out to say, oh, okay, we are going to do this, we are going to do that, we are going to do that. We need to be asking the question, and that is the question that Nigerians are asking now. How are these things going to come to fruition? Where are you going to get the money from? Until our government are able to tell us, okay, we want to do this and we are getting the money from this. Because obviously, as we see now, the only thing that we depend on in Nigeria has fallen, which is the oil price. You see, every country of the world are looking for other things to make sure that they, that they sustain their economy. So here is the government promising us amidst the fall of oil price that these are the things that are going to be done but how are we going to get those monies because every day we still hear the government borrowing and borrowing and borrowing so how that's the question you see so uh, nigerians let's just um, i mean it's just we just need to keep speaking out and that is why we have this medium to speak out to let the people know what is going on in the country and what the government are proposing and what they should know and how they can speak out so yes my people if you haven't um, come across us before if you're coming across us for the first time this is speak network please do subscribe to us thank you for all those that have subscribed if you haven't subscribed please do press the subscription button and also press the little bell that's just by the side there so whenever we um we we upload a new news you can get it first hand all we are trying to do is to make sure that all citizens of nigeria everyone uh, every citizen of nigeria no matter where you are around the globe you would be abreast of what is going on in nigeria at the minute at the seconds all right my people thank you very much for listening and um stay safe and um, let's follow the government guidelines let's um there's a total lockdown around um, um fct um lagos ogun state let's just go with the government um directives at this point in time and just remain safe thank you very much until i come your way again bye